we say force as that physical quantity which when applied on a body changes or tends to change the state of rest or of uniform motion. We know that force when applied on a body is used to write, to read, to swim, to snore, to eat, to walk and so on. In short, on a day to day basis, we do require force for our day to day activities. However, we see that when force is applied on a body, it changes its state of rest. Say for example, in case of a snooker game, when the stick hits the ball, we see that when the force is applied by the stick on the ball, the ball tends to move forward. That means a force is applied by the snooker stick on the ball that is at rest, thereby making it in motion. We have force that changes the state of motion also. All of you must have seen go-karting. In go-karting, we, we know that when the driver applies the brakes, this particular car definitely comes to a halt. That is because braking force is applied by the driver to the car that is in motion. We have the change of shape also. In that case, we see that when a lemon squeezer is used to squeeze a lemon, to extract the juice from it, definitely force is applied on the lemon squeezer. And when the force or effort is applied on the lemon squeezer, the shape of the lemon changes. So force definitely causes change in shape. We also have change in physical state. All of you must be knowing about the Gola candy. The ice is being crushed initially and later on we see that as these lumps of ice are pressed together with the force, they reunite together or refreeze together. So we have such day-to-day -day examples as far as the force is concerned. Talking about force, force is that physical quantity which when acts on the body changes or tends to change the state of rest or of uniform motion of a body along a straight line. Its SI unit is Newton and CGS unit is Dyne. The correlation between CGS and SI unit of force is 1 Newton is equal to 10 to the power 5 Dyne.